I wanted to make another video. Um, I haven't made one in a while. And I wanted to kind of share with you where I'm at. As, you know, it's, it's four months or a little bit now past four months since she passed. And my the video that I wanted to make isn't particularly about Sheree's passing, although it is. <laughs> I wanted to talk about death in general and how it affects us and what do you feel? What, how, you know, I mean, we've all gone through this, I think. Uh, um, we've lost our pets. Some of us have lost family members, friends. I have. I've lost both parents. I lost my grandma. I lost my very best friend. Uh, um, you know, it's like death hits us. And now, you know, with COVID, a lot of people, you know, unexpected deaths too are happening. I have a friend who lost her husband. Uh, um, I say um all the time. I hate that. <laughs> but I did, you know, it's sort of off the cuff, I guess. And that's why I'm saying um. <laughs> and I do apologize about that. What is death to you? What does it mean? What does it signify? Is it a passage? Do you think it's just the end? Do you think that there, there is heaven, there is hell? Do you think that the, the soul just goes to sleep and is awakened someday? Or do you think that perhaps there is a journey that we all need to go through and... Um, maybe evolve, and maybe that includes reincarnation. For me, that's what death is. Uh, um, that's what I believe. I think, uh, and this is what I believe, this is what I hold in my heart, uh, that we all come here for a purpose. We all have things to learn. Um, few of us are perfect. If, if we were perfect, we wouldn't be here. This is the Earth School. Uh, um, we have a, we have things to learn, and we learn through one another. We learn through our mistakes. We learn th through the good things that we do as well. We might, you know, feel good about that and hope that that's what we do and that's how we progress and maybe we will continue on this kind of a journey versus another. Uh, um, that's, that is what I believe. And being that that's what I hold in my heart, I do believe in reincarnation. I, I don't know if you've ever read the book by Gary Zukav, um, the, the Heart of the Soul. In that, he talks about how you have agreements. You have agreements with God. You have agreements with your own soul. You have agreements with people who you come together with. And in those, you form what kind of lessons you want to learn. And you may, I don't know if you actually talk about how you're going to do that, Maybe that's the surprise, <laughs> but you talk about what kind of lessons you're going to learn. He also talks about how you have like these tribes and um, that sounds kind of silly, but it's not. When you think of it, it's like uh, the particular people or animals who you form the deepest connections with. Um, you might see the grocery store people once a week and you're friendly and you say hi, you have somewhat of a relationship with them, but it's different uh, than maybe your closest friends or your family members. So, and even the people who you work with, you have a particular karma that you're going to exhaust and learn from them and they, they from you. Uh, um, and I believe that's true of our pets, too. I believe that our animals teach us a lot, actually. Um, you know, they might be demanding at times. They might want to go outside if you have a dog. They might want to be fed. You know, they might want you to get up earlier than you want to. Uh, 
or they're sick more often than you thought they were. I know with Bianca, gosh, I felt like I learned so much through her because she had so many ups and downs that I would think this is it. And then she'd turn around, she'd be okay again. With Shri, it's like she was so empathetic. She knew my heart and she was right, right there for me. And I think that's what's so hard right now to feel like I don't have that. And of course I do with the other pets and my friends and people who care about me. But it's different. It's like she was there. She really did know my heart and my soul. And I miss that. And that's that's sad. It's painful. Um, those who know me know that I have put down a deposit for a little rag doll, a little boy rag doll this time. And I'm feeling in my heart that this is going to be Shree. Of course, when we see him, we meet him, we feel him, it might be different. But, you know, after she passed, I felt like she was right here with me. I heard her a lot. I saw her a lot. I really did feel her. And um, I felt like we had this conversation uh, that she actually told me that she would be back. And that she's been with me many, many times. And that she would be back. And that I would have to drive a little bit. And that is the case with this. It's maybe an hour and a half away. So it feels like it gelled. And it, it's been kind of a, a ride in a way. Because I felt through, through a, another breeder that I was going to get a different kitty. And that didn't turn out well at all it was very bumpy and it was hard and that, it, it's like that was really really hard because this was somebody who I looked up to and I felt like I kind of got disappointed in her let's put it that way so um but at the same time looking back I feel like it was meant to be in a way because it pulled me through some of the deepest grief just feeling like there's something tangible there. And then I looked at rescues and there again, it, everything kept, it was like this up and down, like up and down. And um, again, I kind of feel like it was meant to be because it gave me something tangible until it really could be. So I'm very much looking forward to my new little kitten coming into my life before I know it. And I, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, about death and the experiences that we go through and grieving. Grieving is not just a singular path. It's not easy and you have to go through it because if you don't, it's going to come back. Uh, um, you kind of have to do it. And it's not just easy. It's not just straightforward. It is this up and down, up and down kind of journey. And, you know, you think, oh, it's over, and then it hits you again. And it seems like maybe it hits you right out of the blue. But that's what it is. And, you know, you understand. I'm grieving like this because of love and because it expands the heart. And maybe that's the whole purpose of our being on this planet is to expand our heart. So I'd love to know your thoughts.